Hey there, welcome to a very early morning edition of Kung Fu Physics where we are working our way through practice physics GRE problems. I uh, just went ahead and grabbed a problem that's, uh, well, I'll probably regret it because there's a lot of these types of problems and I'm not quite organized enough to have it set up to where I've got all these types of problems in one area. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to pull it off in the next couple of days and start doing all of these problems. It's kind of a series of problems in the practice exams. The one I want to look at is number 25 off of the 2001 exam. Like I said, we'll see if I can find more of these types of problems, but they are all easily solved uh, using the parallel axis theorem. And so that's, that's why I kind of feel it smart to do them all at once because there's a lot of those types on the physics GRE practice problems. So um, number 25 off of the 2001, get out, look at it. Let's go into the problem. As usual, glance at the answers. Nothing too remarkable about the answers. MR squared and fractions. Um, I can't really gather anything from as far as glaring differences between the answers or anything like that. So a uh, quick glance at the diagram, then right into the problem. Number 25. Seven pennies are arranged in a hexagonal planar pattern so as to touch each neighbor, as shown in the figure above. Each penny is a uniform disk of mass M and radius R. What is the moment of inertia of the system of seven pennies about an axis that passes through the center of the central penny and is normal to the plane of the pennies. So it's a moment of inertia problem. We're looking for I, the moment of inertia of this whole system. And you can take a moment of inertia about any point of this system. I could grab the pennies on the side and stick a pole through them and say I'm going to torque it around that way. What is the moment of inertia? In this case it's saying, okay, there's the center penny. Let's go right through that. What is I around that? So I, I personally find moment of inertia problems pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of an interesting interest of sorts to engineering types. You know, I remember back when I started studying physics, I was thinking I might go into engineering. And uh, this type of stuff is always interesting to me. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Basically, you're going to be totaling up two things. Uh, when you have a complex system of, of particles like this that are attached, you need to find the moment of inertia of each one of them and just add them up since they're attached. So right off the bat, I would imagine the six pennies on the outside not even being there. And so for that, I would just get the moment of inertia of this penny around the center where this distance is R. And that is actually given, uh, pardon me, I don't have this out, but there's an equation formula. And, oh, you can't even see it. Crying out loud. There, I got it out. The equation formula does have uh, moments of inertia. And so we would be looking for the disk because it's pennies. And a disk would make the most sense. So this guy his moment of inertia about that center point is just one half little m r squared. So that's a piece of cake. Now I would draw in another one of these pennies and I would only need one because I can imagine the rest being in there and I'm just going to multiply it by six whatever I discover for this one. <laughs> now I want to figure out the moment of inertia of this penny and to get it it's the parallel axis theorem and the parallel axis theorem for some reason always has stuck in my head it always made sense to me that if I want to calculate the moment of inertia of this penny around this point I add two things together I add the moment of inertia of the penny itself if you were taking the moment of inertia about the center and I also add in another factor that is basically taking into account this distance from the center. Um, I'm not being very thorough with that. I'm sure you could get a really good analysis um, as to why 
this is right to do it this way. I'm just saying it's always stuck in my head. Um, and so, as I've said, you're gonna find this is the answer to a lot of physics GRE problems. It's incredibly important to have this on the tip of your brain. So the parallel axis theorem, the moment of inertia about a given point is equal to the moment of inertia of the object in question about its center of mass plus the mass of the object times the distance out to the center of mass of the object squared. Okay, so incredibly important for the physics GRE. If you don't have this memorized, memorize this right now. Right now. So to solve this problem, uh, we basically have a distance from the center of the, the problem where we're taking the moment of inertia to the center of mass of the object that we're calculating. And so I'm going to call that distance D. In our problem, D equals 2R because this is R and this is R, right? So I would go ahead and add in for, okay, I'll do it this way. I think this will be easiest to see. I did a little bit different when I actually solved the problem for myself, but this will be easiest to explain what I'm doing. So I want to add in this guy first, one of these. So the I center of mass is going to be the same as this, right? That's going to be the I center of mass. I want to add on m d squared, where d is 2r. So that's going to be the contribution for each of those pennies that's located out on the outside. So I will need six of those. So I would add this plus six of these. So I'm going to pull this guy down here so I don't forget him. All right? All right, so at this point on, it's just algebra. And you'll have it. Okay, so I carry my squared through there and then multiply by 6. So I get 2 squared, which is 4, times 6 is 24. Yeah, and so I probably should have not done it that way because I'm just wasting a step there, but whatever. Then I'm multiplying everything by 2. I get 6 over 2 mr squared plus 48 over 2 mr squared. The reason I'm doing that is because I've already looked at the answers, and I know everything has a 2 over it. So, I mean, I, I could solve it and, and get it here, and then I'd have to go back and put it in that form anyways. So, um, yeah, 48 plus my 6 is 54 plus 1, and that equals 55 over 2 mr squared. Right? It's just algebra. There, you can do it whatever's fastest. As long as you're accurate, do it fast and you'll get there to that answer. So we look and we see if there's something like 52 over 52 halves mr squared, there is. It's answer E. So we could go ahead and pick that and be done with it. So pretty easy mechanics problem. That's number 25 off of the 2001 uh, solved by using the parallel axis theorem. Thanks and I'll see you next time.